All right, next up we have Dave DeCamp. He is a news editor of antiwar.com and a freelance journalist based in Brooklyn, New York, focusing on U.S. foreign policy and war. Please welcome Dave DeCamp. Uh, first, I just want to thank all the organizers for putting this together. Uh, it's great to see so many people out here for Assange, and so much work has to go into this. And so, when I'm talking to you today, we appear to be on the brink of nuclear war. And I don't like to be an alarmist, but the, as Dan Cohen mentioned, the President of the United States did just say that the other day. We're facing nuclear Armageddon, the highest chance since the Cuban Missile Crisis. We have to ask ourselves, how did we get here? How did we get to this point and forget the lessons of the Cold War? Well, a few things happened, including uh, giving up on the peace dividend after the collapse of the Soviet Union, yeah. using the unipolar moment to pick on and destroy smaller countries, responding to 9-11 by killing millions of people that had nothing to do with it. Right. They made an enemy out of Russia when there was absolutely no reason to do so. And that's not me, that's George Kennan who said that. Now we're seeing a similar situation unfold with China making war over Taiwan more likely. Instead of dismantling their nuclear weapons, they tore up arms, arms control treaties and created a plan to spend $1.5 trillion to modernize the nuclear triad. And they have to justify that somehow. So how could we let this happen? And the reason why is because we don't have more people like Julian Assange. And for exposing the truth and the deep-seated corruption that led us to this point, He's been vilified and tortured and kept away from his family. And why did they do that? Again, if there were more WikiLeaks and more people like Assange, we could find out the truth of what's going on, as Dan Cohen mentioned, with the war in Ukraine. We could, there's strong evidence that the Biden administration wanted to prolong this war, that they sent Boris Johnson over there in April to kill a peace deal. But we don't know for sure. What we need right now is a WikiLeaks style cable email dump to see what they've been saying to each other. Because that is going to reveal that they don't care about Ukrainians. They don't care about democracy or whatever they say. They want to weaken Russia, and they want to line the pockets of Lloyd Austin's buddies at Raytheon. That's what this is all about. So this is why we need more people like Julian Assange. And let me be absolutely clear, Julian Assange is a journalist. He has done no crimes. He has only exposed them. And the reason why this is so important, if he is prosecuted under the Espionage Act, which was passed during World War I to crush dissent, it will set the most dangerous precedent. Anybody who calls himself a journalist or any kind of media, or even if you just put information out into the world, this could set a precedent that if you pub publish something, tell somebody something that the government doesn't like, they could put you away for life. So. That's why I'm here today, because this is not just about the First Amendment. This is a freedom issue. This is about liberty, what little liberty we have left. So for peace and our time, we need our government, the U.S. Empire, to free Julian Assange. And that's what we should all be screaming from the rooftops. But instead, there's no mainstream journalists here. So it's up to us to get the word out to everybody. Thank you. Free Assange.